still out in the gazebo, getting a little bit of a breeze now. Things are starting to look up. Uh, recently got some juice from another Canadian company called Crave Gourmet Ages. Um, Matt is the chef over there. And he sent me 12 flavors, 24 bottles of juice. These are all no nicotine. Uh, it's all organic. I'm not even sure what organic means, but um, all organic and natural ingredients. Um, I don't usually buy anything organic. To me, it's like I would like some pesticides all over my food to make sure there's no bugs or gross things in it. But that's just me. They all come in these really cool little boxes, you know. Uh, which I thought were cute. They say uh, natural and organic flavor, natural vegetable glycerin, natural and organic flavor, natural ethanol glycol, organic, organic, organic. It's organic all over this thing. So, uh, let's see. These guys are in Vancouver, but I think they have a place somewhere else as well. But anyway. So I got a huge box of these things. I thought, oh, cool. I opened the box. Smell from the box was wonderful. Now, I have to tell you, when I picked out a couple of the flavors, uh, this being one of them, the blueberry lemonade, and I threw it in a, a cardo, and I grabbed a vape off it, and oh, I got this most unpleasant taste <laughs> from it. It was like lemon pledge. It was a it was just an unpleasant taste. So I thought, okay, I've never had anything organic or nicotine free organic. So I thought, okay, maybe there's something else going on here. So I did email him and I said, I'm getting this unusual taste. And it wasn't in, in just one. It was in all of them. I tried drops of each and every one of them. And I was getting this taste. And he said, well, we use, um, uh, what the heck did he say? He uses organic lemon juice in all of the recipes. Uh, to add shelf stability and enhance the flavors. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm just too sensitive to this lemon. So what I did was I uncapped them all. I put them all in a box, uncapped, put them on the shelf for a day. What a difference. Really. There's a couple of them that still have a hint of that taste, but it could just be me picking up on something. But after a couple of days, like sitting there, uncapped to the air sort of thing, really nice flavors came out. Thank God. So I was really sweating and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to tear this thing apart. No. So um, you got to know about steeping. If you're, if you're vaping at all, steeping um, does make a difference in the juice. So I'm thinking fresh out of the jug probably not the best to, to vape it until you've steeped it for at least a day. So I do have some favorites. Favorite, ugh, favorites. The sister, and I tried these out in the sister too, and she did taste the same thing. Like a soapy whatever. But I'm thinking it's that lemon. Her favorite was the organic um, black currant. Very nice. Uh, the organic strawberry was really good. The banana was nice too. Once you get, once that lemon dissipated, it was good to go. Um, the raspberry was the, the one I tried this morning and it still had that little bit of a, I don't know, it could be, a, a, it could be in my mind too. Because you get things in your mind. And, you know, it's like, but anyway, like I said, uh, 
steep them. So a couple of ones that I saved back were organic chi or chai. I'm not really sure what chi, C-H-A-I. I'm not really sure what that is, but I threw it in the, uh, this is my uh, 902, 920, 902, uh, so then the next video. What that tastes like is those um, little cinnamon heart candies. If that's, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to taste like, but to me, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, like cinnamon. So the second one, uh, this one is everybody's got to be disturbing my peace. I'm telling you, if I win the lottery, it's a biodome for me. This is black honey chai tobacco. So I figured that's a pretty good one to transition into, right? Just going to drip into that. We'll have a go. I taste the tobacco in that. Smell the tobacco. I bet you the sister would like that. A little bit sweet and a little bit spicy. I like that. Yeah. So for having no nicotine, actually not a bad little I, I got a friend that it no nicotine so I got some place to you know pass this on to but for having no nicotine it's really good no real throat hit to to speak of although there was one that did have a nice throat hit that was the black currant not sure why I mean you could add a couple of drops of uh, pine nicotine in here if you so choose to, I might, because I kind of like that. I might pass that on. But anyway, pretty good. Check them out. Crave Gourmet E-Juice. Instead of rolling credits, I'm going to do shout out. The little fellow that you hear on my videos, my sensor, is Christopher Jr., um, the son of Arrow Vapors on YouTube. I will put his YouTube video link here. He is hilarious. Um, and I used to love watching his videos of the little fellow, no matter where he was in the house, you could hear him go, as soon as his father cursed, you could hear him like, he had like back hearing and he would say don't say that word and without skipping a beat Arrow Vapor would just sorry and continue on like he didn't even know what happened I would laugh my ass off don't say that word sorry so Christopher Jr. <laughs> is my little censor and uh, I loved it so much that I got uh, Christopher Sr to chase this little fella around and get him to say it for me so I can put it on my videos. So if you're not subscribed to, to Arrow Vapors on YouTube, here it is. Go there. He is hilarious. And he is more of a mod whore than I am, if you can believe that. If I haven't tried the device, he has. Uh, so check him out. And check us out on the FFS show on Total Vaping Network. Um, it's a great time. Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Me and Jibba will try and give you content and entertain at the same time. Thank you.